Hi, I'm Nikki Down. Welcome to Maya Yoga 20-Minute Backbend Series. Please sit comfortably at the back of your mat, big toes touching. Relax your shoulders, soften your mouth, your teeth, your tongue, and now slowly inhale and exhale as you bend forward, place your forehead on the floor, take your arms back behind you. This is child's pose or balasana. Bala means child in Sanskrit. So relax your head, your arms, your mouth, find your breath. We're going to use ujjayi pranayama. Ujjayi means victorious breathing. It's done through your nose, smooth, even inhalation, followed by a smooth, complete exhalation. Now inhale again. Exhale all your air, and then inhale, stretch both arms forward. Exhale, press your hands down. Inhale, come on up on your hands and your knees. Curl your toes under, exhale. Inhale, look up, and exhale slowly. Lift the hips, straightening the legs. Find your way to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, press firmly through your hands, especially the index finger knuckles. Extend the elbows, release the back of your neck, press your legs back, and keep breathing. The breathing is the most important part of the practice. So soften your mouth, open your eyes, and breathe freely. Smooth breathing. Now exhale all your air. Look up at your hands and inhale. Bring both feet to the hands. Look up. Exhale. Head towards your legs. Relax the back of your neck. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms. Look up. And exhale. Float your arms to your side. Let's do some sun salutations. Here we go. Inhale. Raise your arms. Look up. Palms together. Head back. Exhale, over you go, head comes down last. Drop your head. Deep inhalation, extend the spine, look up. Exhale, step both feet back, bend the elbows, look forward, strong straight legs. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, roll over the toes to downward facing dog. Now take a moment, look at your hands, make sure they're shoulder width apart. Press firmly through them. Extend your arms. We're going to take five deep breaths here. So inhale as you extend the arms. Exhale, press back through your legs. Smooth breathing. Now look up at your hands and inhale. You're going to step both feet to the hands. Join them together. Look up. Exhale, head to your knees. Straighten your legs. And rooting the feet firmly to the floor, inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms over your head, look up. Exhale, float your arms down. Let's keep going. Inhale, raise the arms, look up. Exhale, over you go to the second position, drop the head. Inhale, look up, extend the spine. Exhale, step both feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana, look forward. Inhale, upward dog, point your toes. Exhale, over your toes, downward facing dog. Make sure you're centered on your mat. Check your hands at their shoulder width apart and then release the back of your neck. Keep breathing. Again, this is the most important part of the practice, that you keep breathing. Smooth, even inhalation. Smooth, complete exhalation. Now look up at your hands. You're going to inhale as you step both feet to your hands. Look up. Exhale. Let your head go. Straight legs. Deep inhalation. Come all the way up. Join the palms. Look up. Exhale. Hands to your side. One more, please. Inhale. Arms up. Look up. Exhale. Over you go. Head comes down last. Inhale, lift your head, look up. Exhale, step both feet back, bend the elbows, look forward. Inhale to upward dog, look up. 
Exhale once again to downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Smooth, even inhalation as you extend your arms. Smooth, complete exhalation as you press back through your legs. Take a moment here to breathe freely. Smooth, even inhalation, followed by a smooth, complete exhalation. Now we're going to exhale all your air, look up at your hands, and step just your right foot forward between your hands. We're going to do some lunges to open your hips. So hands on either side of your right foot. Keep the outside edge of the right foot parallel to the long side of the mat and straighten the back leg. In fact, straighten it more than you ever thought you could. Keep breathing through your nose. There's no pressure in the wrists. In fact, I never put my wrists on the floor. I stay in the knuckles of my hands. Keep breathing through your nose. Straighten the back leg. Now look down. Place your hands flat. Inhale, lift the hips, and exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Now look up at your hands. We're going to do the left side. So you're going to inhale and step the left foot forward between the hands. Exhale, bend the left knee to 90 degrees, straighten the right leg. Again, no pressure in the wrists. Straighten the arms, straighten the back leg. Straighten it more than you ever thought you could. And keep breathing. Again, the breathing is the core of the practice. When we can control our breath, we can deal with our tension. Now look down, place your hands flat on either side of your foot, inhale, lift your hips, and exhale once again to downward facing dog. Now take a few breaths here, and remember, inhale, extend the arms, exhale, press back through the legs. Now the second lunge, you're going to join your thumbs together in the middle of the mat, inhale, step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand, Exhale, bend the right knee, lower the left. Point the left toes straight back. Roll the shoulders back, no pressure in the wrists. Take a deep inhalation and exhale as you straighten the back knee off the floor. Keep breathing. This is going to feel strong in the front of the left groin, but this is what it's for. So stay with it. You're stronger than you think you are. Keep breathing. Stretch through the back knee. Keep breathing. Now look down. Put the back knee on the floor, hands flat. Inhale, lift the hips, curl the back toes under, and exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Take some more breaths here, softening the jaw. Now we'll do the other side. Look up. Thumbs are still touching in the middle of the mat. Inhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, and exhale, bend the left knee, lower the right. Set the wrists, no pressure in them. Roll the shoulders back. Take a deep inhalation and exhale. Straighten the back knee off the floor. Now you're going to feel this in the front of the right groin. Keep breathing. Really press through the top of the back foot and straighten your right leg. Smooth breathing. Roll the shoulders back. Lift your chest and keep breathing. I cannot say it enough. There's nothing more important than your breath. Now look down. Put the hands flat. Put the back knee on the floor. Curl the back toes under. Inhale, lift the hips, and exhale once again to downward facing dog. Breathe deeply. Inhale, you extend the arms. Spread the fingers. Press firmly through the hands and look up, checking the hands. Release the back of the neck. Press the legs back. Now we're coming forward. Inhale, step both feet to the hands. Look up. Exhale, head to your knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms over your head. Look up. Exhale, float your arms to your side. Second sun salutation. Inhale, bend your knees. Raise your arms. Look up. Head back. Exhale, over you go, chest to your thighs, straighten your legs, drop your head. Inhale, look up, extend the spine. Exhale, step back, bend the elbows, look forward. Inhale to upward dog, look up. 
Exhale to downward facing dog. Now we're going to step the right foot forward between the hands, bend the knee, raise the arms over the head, warrior one. Look up. Exhale, place your hands on either side of your foot, step back, bend the elbows, look forward. Inhale through upward dog, stretch your legs. Exhale over your toes to downward dog. Left side, step the left foot forward, keep the knee bent, inhale, raise the arms over the head, reach through the elbows, look up, exhale, coming all the way down, hands flat, step back, look forward, inhale, upward dog, point your toes, look up, exhale, over the toes, back to downward facing dog. Find your breath, soften your jaw. Remember, keep your eyes open and your mouth closed. Spread your fingers, press firmly through the hands. Inhale as you extend the arms. Exhale, press back through your legs. So complete this exhale, look up, and inhale, step both feet to the hands, join them together, look up. Exhale, head to the knees, straight legs. Now inhale, bend your knees, raise your arms over your head, look up. Exhale, straight legs, hands to your side. One more. Inhale, bend the knees, arms up, look up. Exhale, over you go, nice and smooth, drop the head. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, look forward please. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale to downward dog. Right foot forward, warrior one position. Bend the knee, inhale, raise your arms, look up. Again, reach through the elbows, head back. Exhale, place your hands, step back, come all the way down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale to downward dog. Left foot, please, big step. Bend the knee, inhale, reach up through your arms, look up. Exhale, come all the way down, looking forward, please. Inhale, point the toes, look up, shoulders back, and exhale to downward facing dog. Downward dog becomes a resting pose here. So keep breathing through your nose. And inhale as you extend the arms, reaching through the elbows. Exhale, press the legs back. Now we're going to do some standing poses. So you're going to look up at your hands. We're going to step the right foot forward into Uttita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Straighten your legs. Place the right hand on the right leg. Reach the left arm up. Look up. Straighten your legs. Roll your shoulders down your back and breathe deeply. Press firmly through the inside of your right foot, the outside of your left. Now we're going to inhale and come up to warrior two. So you're going to come up with the torso, exhale, bend the right knee to 90 degrees. Roll your shoulders down your back. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana. This is a very strong pose. Roll the shoulders back, tuck the tailbone, and now slowly we're going to turn the chest forward, raise the arms over the head to warrior one. Tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in and up, and straighten the back leg. Keep breathing through your nose. You're stronger than you think you are. Keep breathing. There's nothing more important than the breath. Now nice and slowly, take a deep inhalation and exhale as you come forward, place both hands on the floor on either side of your foot, step back, bend the elbows, look forward. Through the vinyasa, inhale, upward dog, exhale to downward dog. Breathe. Now we're gonna do the left side, step the left foot forward between the hands for triangle pose. Place your hand on your leg wherever it's appropriate, reach the right arm up. Straighten your legs any amount. So the kneecaps lift up. Put the weight on the big toe side of the left foot, little toe side of the right foot. Lift the kneecaps any amount. Roll the shoulders back. And now warrior two. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the left knee. 
Roll the shoulders down the back and breathe deeply. Straighten the back leg. Keep the torso over the pelvis. Extend your arms away from each other and keep breathing. Smooth, even inhalation. Smooth, complete exhalation. Warrior one, turn the chest forward. Raise the arms up. Look up. Again, tuck the tailbone and straighten the back leg more than you ever thought you could. Then inhale, reaching through the arms, look up. Exhale, come all the way down, place the hands flat, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale through upward dog, exhale to downward facing dog. So from downward dog, we're going to do some back bends. Come onto your belly. Point your toes straight back, take your arms to your side, tuck your chin, place your forehead on the floor. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. Gonna exhale all your air and inhale while you raise your head, shoulders, and feet. Look forward, stretch through your knees, look at the tip of your nose, take a deep inhalation and exhale, come down, take a rest. Turn your head to the side, relax completely. Do another variation of this pose in a moment. Shalabhasana B. So you're gonna tuck your chin again, put the forehead on the floor, take your hands like you're doing Chaturanga Dandasana, toes point. Exhale all your air, and inhale, lift the head, shoulders, and feet once again. Gaze forward, stretch through your knees, really lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, smile if you can, keep reaching through your legs, and then slowly come down, rest. Take your arms to your side, turn your head to one side, and then to the other. Now to come out of this, we're going to go through the vinyasa, hands under the shoulders, you're going to inhale to upward dog, look up. Exhale to downward facing dog. Do another back bend now. It's called Ustrasana or the camel pose. So hop forward to the front of your mat, come on your knees, place your hands on your hips, curl your toes under to raise your heels high. Now inhale, lift the chest. Exhale one hand at a time, find your heels. If you're comfortable, take your head back. Let the hips move forward towards the front of the mat. Keep breathing through your nose and then slowly inhale, hands to the hips, come up. Exhale, point the toes straight back. This one's a little more difficult. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, same position. Take the hands to the heels. Ustrasana, this is the camel pose. If you're comfortable, take the head back and breathe deeply. Press through the tops of the feet to lift the chest. Soften your mouth, keep your eyes open, and then inhale, come on up, hands to the hips, and exhale slowly. You're gonna come forward, hands on the floor, step both feet back, bend the elbows, look forward. Inhale through upward dog, exhale to downward dog. Now you're gonna look up at your hands and inhale, hop to the front of the mat. Please lay down on your back. Straighten your legs to the ceiling and we're gonna do a little bit of abdominal work. So place the hands under your bottom, bend your knees so the feet are the height of the knees. Slowly straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the right leg. Inhale, straighten the left. Exhale, bend it. Inhale again on the right, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the left. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten the right. Exhale, bend. Inhale, left leg straight. Exhale, bend. And take the knees to the chest. Take your arms out to the side. Take a deep inhalation. Exhale, lower the knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. Breathe deeply. Inhale, knees and head to the center. Exhale, slowly with control, knees to the left, head to the right. Twisting, inhale forward. Exhale to the right again, turn the head to the left. Inhale to the center. 
Exhale slowly with control, knees to the left, head to the right. Then inhale, take the knees to the center. Hold your knees, give yourselves a hug. Take a few breaths here and then slowly place your feet flat on the floor. Lift your bottom to lengthen the lower back. Place it down, straighten your legs one at a time. Take your arms to your side. Close your eyes. Shavasana. A shavas is a corpse. This is the resting pose. So let loose everywhere. Relax your body and sink. Soften your belly, your mouth, your jaw. It's all over. Now nice and slowly start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. If you like, rotate your ankles, your wrists, and then slowly stretch your arms over your head, reaching yourselves long, and then slowly, one leg at a time, bend your knees and roll to your side. Take a few moments on your side. And when you feel ready, slowly press yourselves up. Find a nice, comfortable place to sit at the front of your mat. Simple cross legs. Join your palms in front of your heart in the spirit of respect. Drop your head and breathe deeply. Namaste.